Yine sızdı abi o. Hi, I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Inglesina Avio. The Avio is Inglesina's newest addition to their fabulous line of strollers. And as you'll see, it is very similar to their Zippy, which we love, but there are differences. So it's kind of like the same family. They're siblings, so they have features that are alike, but features that are different. Let's take a look at it. Now the seat of the Avio, it's roomy. It is 12 inches wide. It has a 19 inch seat back, and it has a seat back to canopy clearance of 26 inches. It has a padded five point harness and it has a baby bumper bar. And what we like about the baby bumper bar, it is not foam. Our babies like to chew on the baby bumper bar and a mouthful of foam is never good. So we love that it's covered with this faux leather and it says Inglesina right in front. Plus it is a removable baby bumper bar that you can swing away to let your toddlers get in easier or you can remove it altogether. It also has an adjustable leg rest. Now we, this is not a foot rest. Your child's foot feet will go right here. This is the going to hit the back of the thighs of your older children. It has, you can have it all the way down for your older children, or you can put it up for your babies um, to give them a little bit extra support for their legs. The seat is nicely padded. It has these two side um, pads for your child to set their head against. It has a four position recline, and what we like is that it has a one-handed um, lever recline, so there's no strap needed on this one, which I love. One hand has all the way down to flat, which is great for a newborn. So you can actually put your newborn right in the avio like that. And to put it back up, you just push up and it's going to catch on the different positions um, that you need. So it has a great recline, including this is as high as it's going to get for those parents that want to know how upright it gets. Now there's no baby tray or baby cup holder and no parent tray as well, but there is a parent cup holder or you could actually use it for your baby's bottle. It's back here on the, uh, in the back, it's out of the way. It's going to hold a water bottle or maybe a small cup. So it's nice that it's always attached there for, you know, mom's um, water bottle. And it also has a um, pretty large basket underneath. Now the basket is very hard to access from the rear of the stroller, uh, which is not a problem because it's very easy to access from the side or the front. So when your seat is fully reclined, you can still get to the basket with plenty of room from the side access. The Avio has a 40 pound weight capacity. As you can see, our three and a half year old tester, he is 38 pounds. He fits in the seat comfortably and his head doesn't even touch the canopy. So it's very, very good up to 30, 40 pounds. Now the handlebar on the Avio, it is a one piece handlebar. This is different than the Zippy. The Zippy had the two handles. This is one solid handlebar and that is going to give it excellent maneuverability one handed because you can place your hand in the center and maneuver it around very easily. Now it's not an adjustable handlebar. It is 41 inches from the ground all the way to where your hands hit. So it is a taller one, but it's not adjustable. Now let's talk canopies. The canopy is fabulous on the Avio, just like it is on the Zippy. It is large this way. It also has a pop-out sun visor, but what we love is that if it's snowy or raining or any type of wind, you can block your child from the elements by folding it all the way down in front of them. It's gonna bring the seat up upright, so your child is gonna be sitting upright in there, but it's gonna completely block your child from the elements or the sun, which is a great option. And one thing they fixed from the Zippy to the Yavio is that you don't have that ratcheting sound. As you can see, I move the canopy and it's silent, so I can actually move it. And if my baby's sleeping or, you know, it's not gonna disturb them, so I love that fact. It also has a peekaboo window in the back. And what's kind of neat is it has A's all over it for Avio. So in case you forget what you're pushing, which how could you? But it has A's all over and it is a um, pretty large peekaboo window. And it's on the back. So the sun is not going to have the problem with the sun coming in on your child's eyes. And that's going to allow you to peek in at your child. The Avio rolls on six and a quarter inch hard rubber wheels. They are single wheels. The front ones are swivel wheels with the ability to lock straight. You do have to lock one, each one individually. You can do that with your foot, but it's also easy to do with your hand. But normally you would clip it with your foot and that's going to lock it straight so that you can tackle the cobblestone streets, the playground bulge. No, it's not an all-terrain stroller, so you're not going to get to take it on the trails or anything. But we may actually had it to go over grass, playground mulch, small rocks very easily. So it does have great maneuverability over just a bit of all terrain. And the back wheels, back wheels have a one touch brake. And what's fun is it says go and stop just in case you didn't remember. You step on it, that's going to lock it into place and then step back. And this is flip flop friendly because as you can see you don't have to use the top of your toe. You can unlock it to go. 
The Avia weighs in just above 21 pounds. Yes, we weighed it. It's almost 21 and a half pounds. It's very lightweight and it maneuvers fabulously. It's because of this handlebar, because I can maneuver it. You don't always have two hands to push the stroller. We know you either have a cell phone or a diaper bag or another child's hand. So very, very easy to move this around, even fully loaded with one hand. Now, if I have my three and a half year old in here that's almost 40 pounds, it's gonna take a lot more wrist power. You might even use two hands, but it's a fabulous maneuverable stroller that you can kind of zip around corners. Now the Avio, it weighs in, like I said, just a little bit above 21 pounds, but it's very compact fold, makes it very easy to travel with. Now it doesn't fold as smoothly as the Zippy because of the handlebar does need to fold in, but it's very, very easy to do. An eight year old really could do it. All you have to do is push this button, pull up on the handlebar, and it's going to lock down into place and as you can see it has a standing fold which is fabulous and if you roll it behind you very slowly it will roll now it will rock back and forth um, eventually if you go too fast but it's nice to be able to roll this through like um, the, the airport if you're going that way now unfolding very easy to do one button over here push it pull it open step down and that, it's easy as that the stroller, the Avio comes with a rain cover, which is great for you know those rainy days to keep your child dry. Now, two accessories that I really, really love. Now, the first is the bassinet carry cot. This is for to turn your Avio into a rolling pram. It is pure luxury. I'm telling you, it is a fabulous carry cot. It also doubles as a bassinet. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove your seat in order to put the bassinet on. Very, very easy to do. Just so you know, in order to remove the seat, you need to fold the stroller. Let me show you that. Now, if you get the Avio Carry Cot, you're going to get um, adapters that work. Now, in order to get these adapters, they need to go where this bumper bar and this canopy go. I had the hardest time figuring out how to get this off. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. You have to fold the stroller. It's a little bit confusing in the manual, so I just want to help you out a little bit. Because the only way to get to the lever over here is if it's folded. As you can see, then, very, very easy, it starts to pop off. And that's how you're going to start to remove the whole rest of the seat, which is very easy to do. These adapters then go in the place of your bumper bar, and that is how your um, carry cot's going to attach. Now, after you've completely removed your seat to add the bass net, you're going to have to add your adapters. Now, you're going to have to fold the stroller to get these adapters on. There is no way around that. Pull it up, fold it all the way to the ground. Then, you're going to put these on, and it's very easy to put on once the, it is folded. Impossible to do while it's set up. Once it's on, then you're going to have to set it back up to get your um, thing on. Set it up. Like that. Now, your adapters are in place. Take your carry cut and it snaps right in on the other side. Easy as that, right? So with the addition of the carry cot, you have yourself a pram, and it's actually a really beautiful pram, so I highly recommend getting a carry cot with the Avio. Another accessory I love, and that's because I live in cold weather, is the winter mop. This is not just a foot mop. This is a whole Eskimo pod. It goes in your seat. You can actually feed the five-point harness through it, and your child goes in there and you can tighten it all the way around his little head so just his head pokes out. It keeps our kids toasty warm in the winter. So if you live in somewhere that has horrible winters, I highly recommend that you get this. First of all, it matches, it's beautiful, and the inside of it is pure luxury. It is so soft. It's white, so it might get a little dirty, but you know what? It's worth it. This is a great accessory along with the bassinet. Another great feature of the Avio is that it become a travel system with, um, you have to get the adapters separately, but it works with a Maxi Cozy, a Graco, and a Brightex to turn it into a travel system to use it from birth. You can put your baby right in there with that flat recline. You could use a carry cut or you could use the car seat adapters. Now the Avio is a great addition to the Inglesana family. I love the fact that the seat is nice and roomy. I like the, the one piece handlebar for easy maneuverability. And I love the canopy that goes all the way down to the bumper bar. And this is the review of the Inglesina Avio by Holly Schultz of babygizmo.com. That was the Avio. Bye! For the most up-to-date news and reviews, check out my blog at ratedbymom.com.